Okay. All right, we are uh, we're really excited to to get going. We're a weekend practice, and uh, it helps to have a veteran group. Uh, but uh, I know you guys just had Willie up there, and first of all, I want to say congratulations to our football program. Uh, I think what he's doing is is a tremendous deal, and it helps all of us when when our football team can play and and do that. And uh, Willie's done a great job getting our football program up up to this to this level. So first of all, I want to say congratulations to them. But uh, um, I got my veteran guys up here. We're, we're really excited. It's a it's a different time for us because I haven't had a veteran team since I've been here. Um, um, I'm talent wise. I, I, I've said it before. This is my gosh, 34th year of, of coaching. Um, I don't know if I've had a better talented team than I've got right now. And so um, um, that's not to put pressure on anything because they still got to play the games. But I like being in this position. So um, but I want you guys to, I want uh, you guys to talk to these guys because they're going to want to make me look good. So um, I just wanted to kind of start it off with that. Yeah, there's no question we can't be. Uh, um, you know how I am. I, if, if we couldn't be first, be honest with you, I, I need to. The day that I sit there and say, "Hey, listen, we're not going to win a championship," I'm done. Uh, I'm going to walk away from from coaching. Uh, if I don't believe it, how do I expect these guys to believe it? We're really talented. Uh, there are some good teams in our league. We understand that. A lot of things got to happen. You got to be good. You got to be lucky, and you got to stay healthy. You know. Uh, but from a talent perspective, an experience perspective, uh, where we're at in our program perspective. Uh, this is the year for us. And so um, um, winning a championship, would it, would it surprise me? Absolutely not. Uh, if we don't do it, will I be upset? I won't be upset if we're in the NCAA tournament and we didn't win it. Uh, but uh, again, I've, I've, I've won championships and not been in the NCAA tournament. But I've also done, yeah, if I had a choice, I think this is an NCAA tournament team. Matter of fact, I know it's an NCAA tournament team, and I know we can win games in the NCAA tournament. I don't build programs anymore about winning conference championships. There's only like four conferences in the country anyway, so you never know what conference you're in. I built our programs getting to the NCAA tournament. I took this job to get into the NCAA tournament and to win games in the NCAA tournament. That's why I took this job. And so this is the first time I can really confidently say I've got a team that can win games in the NCAA tournament. Have you told those guys that? Never. Who these guys? No, I barely talk to these guys. I, I don't, they, they don't, we don't talk about stuff like that. Of course <laughs> they know that. That's, 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 that's always been our goal here. Um, I feel like just coming in every day, just not worrying about like the hype around us or whatever. Because I mean, we've got, got hype around us that I mean we've never had before. So I mean, it's just staying focused and focusing on coming in every day and just getting better each and every day. So I feel like we get better each and every day, and we play as a team like we know we can. I mean, we're gonna be pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I feel like uh, Colin will be a big help for us. I mean, he's big, he's physical, uh, plays really tough. I mean, for him to be undersized, I mean, he plays like kind of big. So, Colin will be a huge for us. Well, you know, the, the, the hardest part of my job or any coach's job at this level is, is scheduling for us, especially in, in basketball, uh, because you can have an idea of what you want, but you got to get the other people to agree to play you. Uh, it was uh, extremely difficult. Some of the schools that called us when I first got the job wouldn't return our phone calls. Uh, uh, the par five teams that we wanted to play, we, we couldn't. They wanted us to come to their place and play, and I would never sacrifice our program for that ever. And so... Um, um, you know, so then all of a sudden, then you got to go play neutral site games. And so the ones that were calling us, you know, some we turned down, some we didn't. Uh, this was kind of the best scenario, best case scenario for us. Uh, there were some schools that we wanted to play. Uh, we just couldn't they couldn't get the, them to pull the trigger and plan us. And, and again, part of it is, is that, you know, when you're a good team, you're going to have this problem, especially a two lane, because again, you're we're power six, whatever you want to call us in that regards. And, and then the facility. No one wants to come and play us in that building. And I love our facility, but we don't get many people that want to come and play us in a facility. Uh, we've actually even talked about coming to play in Smoothie King. We've offered that to about six or seven schools and all declined to come and play us. Uh, and so they all said that they will play us when these three guys leave. So that's just how this thing works. Why don't they want to play you on campus? Well, uh, again, I, I, 
you know, I've always kind of been that underdog school or coached at those type of places. I think it's a cop out, honestly, that, that uh, they didn't want to come in and play. But if you look at scheduling across the country in, in the par fives, no one plays road games anymore, true road games. Uh, even if you look at our schedule, our true road games are neutral site games. And that's what you're seeing across the country now. Those days of, you know, Indiana, Kentucky starting to play again, where they're going to play in a neutral site. Uh, uh, you just don't see those type of games anymore. Uh, Gonzaga, the same way. They're playing all neutral site road games. It's just the nature of the business uh, of where we're at. A lot of it has to do with money and TV and some of those things. And um, uh, we got caught into a, a lot of that in a good way, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, when you're bad and you're a bad team or a bad program, man, you can play anybody in the country and they'll play anywhere, anytime. It doesn't matter. Uh, we, we, we're just not we're, not, we're not in that business anymore. Were you offered some payday games to go, to go to some other places and play? No. No one offered us any money to come and play. Well, I don't know why you would do that, but no. But we're, we're again, it's, it's, there are two types of schools. The one to give the money out to play and the one to accept it. And we're, I didn't take this job to be bought by anybody. I, I just, that, that's crazy. We're not doing that here at Tulane. Oh, he's 100 percent healthy. Yeah, he's 100 percent healthy and, and and playing really good basketball for us right now. You know, it's 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 uh, uh as these guys will tell you, the the trip itself was was tremendous. I don't play, I don't take those trips for a basketball part of it. Uh, it. You know, part of my job is to make these turn these young people into men, and so I think that the the idea of being able to help other people. And the Samaritan's Fee thing was, was the best part of that trip. The, the play is irrelevant. You know, we got an opportunity to spend some time together and bond and those things. But what these guys did in, in helping those children, uh, something I'm going to remember for a long time. Yeah, uh, uh, Sion is doing a great job with that, and, and I had nothing to do with that. It, it, um, and so I was really happy to hear when, when he decided to do that. And, and, and also that uh, um, Samaritan's Feet approached him. There's only two student athletes in the country that are doing it, Sion and the Alpha tackle for the uh, Alabama football team. Uh, there's only two that are going to represent um, um, Samaritan's Feet in that. And so I was really pleased to, to know that Sion is doing that, and, and he'll represent not only Samaritan's Feet well, but he'll represent – uh, Tulane extremely well in that matter. Coach, knowing how well these two guys shoot the ball, do they, do they have more freedom than maybe some of the other guys on the floor? How do you kind of do that? Yeah, you know, I, I have been um, – I've got to admit, I've got an issue. And, 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 and I am, I am – I'm prejudiced to two things. You know, when, even with my children, uh, the ones that do the right thing, they usually get more things. The ones that don't do the right things, they struggle. Uh, I like guys that can shoot. If you can't shoot, you're probably not going to get that extra hot dog on the road trip. The guys that can make baskets, I'm going to usually get them a hamburger or a steak. But those guys that can't shoot, we got some guys that can't shoot, they'll stay with hot dogs for a while. And if they want to get better, they better make some shots. It's that simple. I mean, I, I, I like guys that can play. Actually, I like guys that can make shots. <laughs> it's a huge difference. <laughs> It was extremely tough because um, I thought I thought if I would have played, we probably could have won won the whole tournament. So it was extremely tough sitting on the sideline watching my teammates go out there and compete. But I know uh, if we fully healthy this year, I think we 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 gonna win it. So. Coach Hunter does a great job of bringing the energy, energy every day. Um, you know, it usually be the players to kind of hype everything up, but Coach Hunter usually come in smiling, and uh, that motivates us to go out there and practice hard. And uh, <coughs> you know, he we always listen to him, and he always give us good points. And you know, it's our job now to go out there and 
execute everything he's told us from this point. Uh, just to piggyback off of what he said, I mean, Kotona comes into practice with high energy every day. So, I mean, you see Kotona out there dancing, I mean, you have no choice but to laugh and, you know, be in a good mood. So, you we get to practice. Dancing? Oh, yeah, it's hilarious. But <laughs> when we see Kotona in that good mood. That all gets us in a good mood for practice. So, I mean, we just use that as motivation. And then with each other, we just – all out there just pushing each other to win it, uh, trying to compete and get better. Okay. Yeah, just seeing Coach Hunter before uh, like practice and stuff like that, bringing uh, energy before practice, I feel like we just feed off that type of energy and it just, it just uh, goes throughout the t uh, whole team. It's really, good. it's really easy to have good energy when you got good players. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got good players. I'm sleeping a lot better than I ever have since I've taken this job. So. Um, as long as I go into games with these three guys, I don't care who we play, what we do. But going in there with these, I, we, this is the first time and I can look at a schedule and say, we've got a chance to win every game. Now, will we win every game? Probably not. But we got a chance now to win every game. Where before, we had to play perfect to win. And so we, we're, we're talented enough and experienced enough now where it doesn't have to be played a perfect game to win now. Well, all three of our new guys, I, I, I think my, my staff did a great job of bringing in uh, three guys that can really, really help us. Two of them from the state of Louisiana, he and Percy, uh, you know, both from uh, Baton Rouge, which I think is up the road somewhere. I've never been to Baton Rouge before. Uh, but uh, uh, two really talented players. And then Trey, Trey Williams is a, is a talented guard that played a lot of games in the Big Ten and, uh, and, uh, and also in the uh, – where did Trey come from? The, the WAC or wherever he was from. But, but he's done really well. So we've improved our roster. Uh, I tell these guys every day, only one or two things happen. You get better or you get worse. When I woke up this morning, I'm either going I'm, I'm to be better than I was yesterday or I'm be worse. Same thing with our team. I wanted to make sure that when that last game that we played, we lost to Houston in the semifinal. I promised myself the next time we would play, we were going to be better. And we'll be better and more ready to play a Houston in the semifinals to try to earn a berth to the NCAA tournament. Uh, for the most part, for the most part. I mean, besides me, yeah. But for the most part, we're, we're, we're uh, you know, we got a few nicks and bruises like you're going to have this time of year. But uh, uh, by the time we play in a couple of weeks, we'll, we'll have everyone healthy. Why have you been so successful? Um, I just think it's the nature of college basketball now. I, there's not a school in the country that doesn't have a transfer. I mean, I, I did that. We built a program at Georgia State. Uh, I like older players. But more importantly, what I love about the portal, uh, I want guys with a chip on their shoulder. You guys know, I mean, I, I sometimes create ships on my own. I woke up mad at my wife this morning because I don't even know. I just was acting <laughs> mad because she was mad at me. So I'm like, I didn't make up something. I didn't, you burnt the bacon. It was terrible, you know, something. We didn't have bacon. That's what she kept telling me. Why are you talking about that? We didn't even have bacon this morning. Uh, so again, I, I live with that chip on my shoulder. I've always been that way from day one of my life. And all of these guys, you know, uh, Cook, did, you know, was at LSU and didn't play. And people talked about him, blah, blah. And now look where he's at. He was at Alabama, Forbes, Alabama, again, averaging one point a game. No one even thought about it. Now look where he's at. Kevin Cross was somewhere stuck in Nebraska somewhere. No one even heard of him. And now look where he's at. All these guys wake up every day, and they play every day with a chip on their shoulder. And that's the, I love those type of guys. Sometimes you get these high school guys, and you've been told everything and how great you are. And then you get to college and realize, man, how hard it is, and you lose that edge. Well, these guys play with an edge every single day. Well, I think it's important. That's why I talked about football. Um, I thought the last home game that we played here, to see the number of students that was there. Uh, if you came to a basketball game last year, it was electric in that arena, which is why people don't want to come and play in this building. Uh, the war's kind of gotten out now, and it's fun to come into to, to Devlin and, and, and see games and those type of things. But we're only going to be as good as our, student po our students and our, and, and our alumni come in and watch us play. Uh, that is a big goal of mine. Uh, I've said it before, and, I, and, and, and I've said this to Troy. I'd be very disappointed if we at least don't have three games where we're sold out this year. I'd be extremely, extremely disappointed. If that puts pressure on our marketing people, whatever, but I will be. With the team that we've got right now, you haven't had a team like this in years, I'd be disappointed if, if three of our games weren't sold out this year. And so that's not asking a lot. And so we got to do our part, and our part's winning games. But uh, we hope that we're able to have that. You hope to do uh, King at some point with somebody? Or do you, I know you've mentioned 
Yeah, we've got actually dates with the Smoothie King. We've been in contact with them. So it's not about the dates. And, you know, we know that the NBA schedule, we, we've kind of, we see that. But, but we, we've been in contact with a lot of schools that we can, uh, you know, we're going to be able to play there. But, again, uh, it has to make sense for us. And so uh, we've asked a lot of schools, and, and we just have had no on every single occasion in that regard. No, no, that's no. I, I, I have one, not, not one bit of ounce, and, and people that 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 that, uh, that say things like that have no idea about the business because I can go play, I can play, for example, Louisville, and Louisville can have a terrible year, and because of the name, it doesn't help you with not so much the RPI and the things that we use now, uh, trying to get to you know you got to get the you got to get the uh, uh, those great one wins now you know and so. Uh, I don't worry about that. What I worry about is that we play a schedule the people in front of us. If, if you're in front of us, have an opportunity to win those games. And if it's on Selection Sunday and we're sitting there and, and at large berth and some people want to tell us that we did not make the NCAA tournament because of our schedule, then I'll 100% take it on me, 100%. But that's, that, that, that is, that, that's, more, that's more just talk for, for fans and media and those type of things, sitting in those rooms and understanding what it's about because I've been on the board. I've been a president of the NBC. I know exactly what that really means. I, I know exactly some things that need to be said and done in that regard, but our conference is good enough that we can get them from the Memphis and the Cincinnati's and the Houston's. We're playing them six times. I don't have to go out and play anybody else. There are six opportunities I got to go get a, a tier one win because those teams will be good. So we got to take care of what's in our league. The rest of it will take care of itself, but our league is good. Enough. Now, if our league wasn't good enough, then that's something I might have to think about. But our league is good enough right now that with, especially with those three teams, it gives me six opportunities. They should take my money if, that, if I answered yes to that. I should coach the same way every time. They pay me. I, I make a pretty good living to, to coach basketball. And so I coach hard every time. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'll coach less with these guys because they've been they're, they're more experienced. I shouldn't have to tell these guys things I've told them two or three years ago. These guys are good enough to understand. Uh, these guys are going to average 35, 36, 37 minutes a game. They know that. They not, they're not going to come out much. That's why they don't practice much right now. They're going to play – 35, 36, 37 minutes a game, you know, and so people, you know, because I'm going to always win or, win or lose with my best players on the floor. And so they understand what I want in that regard. So, um, you know, coaching has to be every, every time I get an opportunity, I got to coach regardless of who, who, who's out there. I say all the games, but uh, – we want to be specific. I want to say Houston for sure. Got to beat them before they get up out of here. So, mm -hmm. got to get Houston for sure. Kind of like what he said. I want Houston and Memphis, honestly, though. Houston and Memphis. I felt like it helped me pretty good because previously my uh, first two years I definitely didn't feel, uh, deal with that type of physicality before. So uh, just learning from that and just learning how to avoid and how to use my body in different ways and stuff like that, I feel like that's going to help me. I say, I will, I will say uh, my vision hasn't really changed because, I mean, as soon as I step foot here, I want to win. He wanted to win. So I feel like Coach Hunter, like, kind of rubbed off on me a little bit. I always wanted to win. I always playing with a chip on my shoulder. So, I mean, not so much. Uh, I always wanted to win, but I see this year, well, last year, I seen the big jump that we made from my first year being here. So, I mean, I see how better we getting every year. And this year, I say I'm kind of like anxious just to get it started just because of I know what the team is capable of. And like I didn't seen like how we've been practicing and how the new guys have just gelled right along with us. And it's just been, it's been like 
crazy just to see, and uh, I can't wait to just prove it in front of the fans. Yeah, I got here doing COVID. Well, we both got here doing COVID. So, I mean, going from an empty gym to a game like Houston where, I mean, you better could hear yourself think at moments of the game. So, it's been it's been real different. Uh, I'll say um, what everything that's happening right now is just something I envision, like, coming here. Like, I wanted to, wanted to be – like, I want to win the conference, so I mean, now we're in a position, we're in a great position to do that. So I think, you know, last year was a good jump, but like this year is win the conference or bust. So that's what, like, that's like what position I, I view, like I thought we'd be in when I, when I decided to come here, so. If you make the NCAA tournament, I know, how would you? So your question was, when we make the NCAA tournament, how I would celebrate? Because you said when. I didn't, I didn't hear. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think I've ever really celebrated. I just it's, everything I do is natural. Um, you know, it's it's. I'm just excited. You know, I'm excited for us. I mean, we we live this every day. Uh, but it's it's been a long time that people can be excited about basketball about Tulane. Uh, I love going around the city and people know we actually had a basketball team. When I first got here, people didn't even realize we even had a basketball team. And so the excitement that, that not only that, that we feel, but through the campus and also through the city, uh, some, you know, I'm not like, you know, some coaches would want to kind of temper things down. I'm trying to temper them up. I want, I, I want that. I, you know, as they say, we want that smoke because we're going to back it up because we've, we've been able to practice. We understand it. We want all of it, every single one. We don't back down for anybody or anything, and we're not going to back down from our expectations. And so. Uh, so we want this, and, and, and we, every single day I, I'm, I'm talking to these guys about it. I always say this, let me go out and do all the barking. Unfortunately, with my knees, I can't play anymore. <laughs> they got to cast that check that I'm selling every time now. That's probably going to happen. That's probably gonna, I'm still upset he said I couldn't dance. I thought that they liked my <laughs> dancing. I, that's the only reason I do it. I thought my players liked it, but, I mean, <laughs> That's something I've got to really go reevaluate now that they don't think that I can dance because I thought that I could really dance. Any other questions for Coach? Just one. Yes. Just wondering if you could feel comfortable in aesthetic commenting on what is distinctive about your coach's personality in terms of energy and animation. I mean, does he make you laugh more than other coaches? Uh, yeah, I, I can start off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely makes us laugh, but I feel like uh, he makes us definitely comfortable as well. I feel like he, we can definitely go talk to him. I feel like with no other coach, I could go do that. But with Coach Hunter, I feel like I can honestly go do that. Yeah, it's the same with him. I mean, I feel like I've got super close to Coach Hunter. I mean, probably the coach I'm close to out of all I might have had. So, I mean, it's it's – I mean, it's different having a coach that you can just come talk to anything about. So that's good. Yeah, like they said, super comfortable coach Hunter. You know, he a clown. So I mean, <laughs> all you gotta do is joke with him, and you'll be good. And I mean, I, we can go talk to him about anything outside of basketball. Uh, you know, super cool dude, and uh, you know, he keeps us grounded and um, focused because. He always anxious and he want to win, so he always preach to us like just always stay ready and focus and like you know control like know how to control success and stuff. So that I think that that keeps us focused and I think that's why like we so anxious too because like we we ready. So well, that's gonna cost more nil money. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We look forward to seeing you guys uh, in a few weeks. All right, thank you.